it's good for me. All right. All right. Sit. Lay down. All right, stay. Good boy. Oh, hey. I'm James Davis from James Davis Art. So last lesson we looked at drawing a cat. And so this week I thought, why not draw the cat's best friend? That's right. It's the dog. Anywho. So we're going to do two pictures today. And the first one is going to be very similar to the way that we drew the cat uh, in the last lesson. So I'm going to kind of speed through that a little bit. But the second picture is going to lead us up nicely to what I've got planned for the next lesson, uh, which I'll tell you more about at the end. So let's have a look at drawing a dog, shall we? Okay, so we're going to need our pencil, our pen, and rubber for rubbing out the pencil later on. You're also going to need some colouring pencils or crayons or whatever to colour in at the end. So I'm going to draw a basic dog shape because dogs come in all different sizes and shapes so we're just going to draw a sort of basic dog. So you, if you want to draw your own dog then just look at your dog and use the techniques that we're going to look at today to create your own dog. Okay let's start shall we? So start with the pencil we're going to draw a circle. So I'll draw it up here. Like that. And now we're going to draw another circle, a slightly bigger circle than that one. About there. And then we're going to draw our third circle, but again, it's going to be slightly bigger. And we'll draw that here. So you can see the three circles are very similar to how we drew the cat last week. And <clears throat> I'm going to draw another circle in this big circle here. So we're going to have this one coming round like that. And now we're going to draw a couple of slightly squashed circles, some ovals down here. slightly behind that one. Right, now we're going to draw another circle up here. A fairly, sm fairly small circle. There we go. So, let's draw another circle here actually, about the same size as that circle you've just, just drawn. So we draw that here. Okay, right. We're going to draw a line from this circle, just where it starts to curve back round. We're going to take the line from, from about here and we're going to have it come down to the top of this semicircle or oval down here and it's a slight angle and then we're going to do the same we're going to draw a line coming up here from the top of this oval coloring up that circle and then we're going to draw a line 
coming up from where these two ovals meet to join this circle here, the inner circle. Okay. Now let's have a look at the this circle. We're going to have this come out a little bit and we're going to just add a little bit onto that circle to make what's going to be the dog's nose. So that will come down here like that. And then I think we'll add in a small circle here actually. And a curved line just here. Then we're going to have a line coming from this circle, just going up and joining that big circle. That's his head. And we're going to draw a curve between the top circle and the middle circle. Like that. And then we'll follow this line around. curve line joining those two circles together there and curve line joining those two there and then we'll have a line coming up like that and we're going to bring that line back around here like so in some kind of zigzaggy lines, a bit like that, coming down to meet this circle here. They don't have to be even or precise because this is going to be his ear. And we draw with an eye. his mouth obviously. Now we're going to draw some curved lines through his feet. Or his toes rather. And a line going across the bottom there like that. Bring that curve in there like that as well. So it looks a little bit messy now, but we can take our pen and start going around these lines. And the thing with dogs is that they often have bits of hair that stick out. So you might find hair sticking up like that, on top of his head maybe here on his shoulders a little bit and on the underside of his tail so you can just draw in some lines like that a little bit it's for his chest right so if we take our pen and we start going around these lines I'll start with his eye actually and don't forget with the eye to leave a little bit of light like a little dot there just to show sort of reflection off of the eye 
come up like this and just follow this line around. draw a slightly curved, a curved line there, which would be the sort of back of his foot or his heel, or his legs sort of folded, and then a line there. So I'll follow this line up and round to his toes, and with this in a circle, we're going to go from here and follow that round. And we'll do this line down here. same over here on this foot as well. There we are. Now, that circle that we drew there, that's his tongue. His tongue sticking out. some nostrils again a bit just like the cat only this one we're going to have it come back so this looks a bit like a J really so there we have it there is our our dog and you can see that it's very similar to the way that we drew the cat in the last lesson so you've got the three circles uh, differences obviously the positioning of the dog's ear and the shape of his uh, muzzle. Um, so we're going to use our rubber and just follow the pencil lines round. And there we go. That's all the pencil lines rubbed out. And there we have a basic dog shape. Let's get rid of those lines as well. So, now you can, now you know how to draw a cat and a dog. So, you can colour in this picture to make it look like your dog. And, or, uh, well, any dog you like, really. So, I'm going to change this paper now, and then um, we'll get on to the next picture. Okay, so, again, starting with the pencil we're going to draw in a circle. Bit of a funny shaped circle that actually. Okay, now we're going to draw another circle slightly, only slightly larger. Again, another lar slightly larger circle. So a little bit higher than that last one. Not too, too high, but just a bit higher. 
just to get bigger. Okay. Now we're going to draw an oval and we're going to have it at level with the edge of this circle and it's going to be down here, I'd say about there. Like that. And another one level with this oval. Put it about here so it's just slightly in from the edge of that circle. circle here and this circle is actually pretty much level with that larger circle so already it looks like a dog not yet I'm going to draw another circle inside this one and we're going to have this circle about here another circle inside this circle and we're going to have that one about here about the same size as the head right so from here we're going to draw oh we'll put another circle here circle here about the same size so you can see this is obviously going to be the dog's head that's very similar to the last picture and then we've got the slightly bigger circle here that's very similar to the last picture but what we've done is we've put the larger circle over here because this dog is going to be standing up so if we just go around a bit so let's have a little bit sticking out over here so it puts a bit of a corner onto that circle and we can have his tongue hanging out again so we can draw another circle in and then have a curved line joining onto that circle there and coming round following what would be the uh, dog's chest there. And we're going to draw in a bit of a line there. And now we're going to have this line that's coming down here. We're going to have it join up with this oval. So about half halfway along the top of that oval, we're going to have the line come down to there. the line come away from this inner circle and come down to the back of that oval and we'll join this up by putting a curve there and a curve there and we're going to have a curve It's only a slight curve, but it's not a straight line, so it's slightly curved for the dog's belly. And we're going to follow this circle, this line here, and we're going to have that come round to this circle here, and a curved line coming from this circle edge down to that's that floating circle there 
something like that. And then a line going from about halfway on the top of that oval to there. And then this line just coming down to the back of that oval. So you've got basic standing dog shape there. Uh, we draw his ear in. So it's just a couple of lines coming down. Don't forget you can put the the sort of uh, zigzaggy lines to show that he's got fluffy ears. And we'll put in an eye so you can see where he's going. And draw a line to meet that small circle so it looks like his tongue's hanging out. And then we're going to draw a tail in. And we're going to have the tail up like that because he's probably wagging his tail because he thinks he's about to go out for a walk. And then draw some more zigzaggy lines. And we've got Put in the little curved lines for his toes. Right. So I think I think we're about there. So you can don't forget to put in the little zigzags here and there just to indicate his fur sticking up. Zigzags there at the back, maybe some on his chest as well. Okay, so now we can take our pen and follow these lines round. zigzaggy lines there, maybe a few down here as well actually. And with this leg you don't need to you don't need to draw in the circle like we would when you were sitting because obviously he stood up so his legs more stretched out. So we just have the line coming from I think about there. I've done this one a little bit small. Hopefully you can see. Uh, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Right. So now we can take our rubber and start rubbing out these lines. The back leg of a dog is, is quite tricky, especially when you're trying to do it from memory. So if you remember, there's an oval for his paw, then there's a circle above that before you get to the large circle. Then hopefully that will make it a lot easier to remember. I mean, you could just draw a a straight line, two straight lines going straight down, just like his, uh, just like his front leg here. But that's much more, much more doggy looking, much more of a dog leg.
Now there we go, so that's all of the pencil rubbed out. And there we have a standing dog. Now here's another trick actually. Because he's stood up, he's obviously thinking that he's going for a walk. So he's happy and his tail's up. It's probably wagging. So to make it look like the tail's wagging, we can just put in a couple of lines to make it look as though it's smoothing. You may have seen this in, in comics or something like that, just to show that there's movement in the tail. So there's a little trick. Right, so this picture will hopefully, if you, if you have a bit of a practice and a draw of your dog, it will hopefully get us ready for the next picture, which is gonna be a horse. So if you're interested in horses, uh, maybe subscribe actually, it makes it a little easier, and uh, hit the notification bell. And uh, we'll be drawing a horse next, next lesson. So I'm gonna speed it up now, and I'm gonna color this doggy in, and um, I hope that's been of help to you. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.